Okay, so we're gonna run through how I'm currently vibe coding my way through an iOS app. I'm using Swift, I'm using Xcode, I'm using Claude Desktop, I've got cursor running. I'm not sure why, but I'm gonna run through my steps and kind of hopefully by the end of this video, I'd have figured out a smoother process as well. My issue right now is I cannot get this to build. So what we're gonna do is go through what I would do in real life IRL to get this to finish building. So I'm just gonna run the build now. I'm on an Intel Mac. It's it's older than generative AI is. Uh, so things are slow, mate. But you know what? I want to sell 20 million of these applications on the App Store and then I'll buy a new Mac. I'll buy two. I'll buy two new Macs. Yeah. M4s. So this is failing to build now. I'm going to walk, I'll run you through. So look, I've got cursor open. I'm using Repo Mix. Now, Repo Mix, I love it. It will go through all of the files and just create so I've got this repo mix output this XML it just lists out all the files it says that oh this is the order this is this is the names this is the repository structure this is what's going on so this gives me a way of saying to Claude desktop here's the project that we're working on it's 23,000 tokens so I can stick that into here just as context. There you go. I'm in my uh, Kpu project. So I'm in a project in Claude Desktop here as well. And I've just said, baby, go easy on me. I've not used Swift before. I've not used Xcode before. Let's do it really nice and slow. I'm using Claude 3.7. Um, and I've noticed so far that when you ask Claude 3.7 something, like how do we do this? Or can I do this? Or I want to be able to log in using the sign in with Apple. It will then go away and create 50 files, edit 12 of those files, and just, it generates too much. It, it's like, ah, oh, I'll do it all. Do it all in one shot, mate, watch me. And I don't want it to do that because when I've done that in the past, it just, we everyone gets upset, everyone gets their knickers in a twist. With vibe coding in general, I'll tell you what works really well in vibe coding in general. Prototype, prototype throw away, prototype throw away. So what I mean by that is, the code no longer has value, right? The 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 actual the actual nuts and bolts, the plumbing, the syntax, the the the, the files. There's no real value. I don't think there is ever real value in there. There's no real value to that. There's no need to hold on to this stuff anymore. So with vibe coding, what I'm finding is I have an idea. Let's make an assets generator. Let's make a thumbnail generator. Let's do it. Let's go for it. Let's one shot it and build it all out. And then if it's not quite working, baby, throw it away chuck it away, start again. Let's start from the top. Let's get rid of the packages that you're using. Let's just start doing it from the from the beginning, from the base. Anyway, look, I'm going off on one. I've put my repo mix output in XML style. I found XML style that can kind of know what it's doing a little bit better in here. I'm gonna go back into Xcode and look, we've got a fail on the bill, which is good. So I'm gonna say, look, I'm getting this error. So create lock-in is giving me this error. So it's saying line 61. Let's have a quick look at line 61. Oh. <laughs> I'm just gonna copy that directly in. So I've just command R, I'm gonna run and build it, or build and run it. This should, this will fire up in, okay, so build succeeded, it's done it, it's firing up an iPhone 16 Pro, you'll be able to see some of the screens. This is an app called No Green Dots. Okay, so it's booted, let's sign in. This is all looking good. Uh, let's create a lock-in. Right, so this isn't all looking good. My welcome, the welcome isn't working. So that should say my name. And I'm also getting this error here. So I'm gonna grab all of that. So what it's trying to do there is sign in with uh, Apple. Sorry, sign into Superbase. It's signed up with Superbase auth. So we've got the sign up, but then it's saying error signing up with Superbase. Uh, error signing up with Superbase and then error registering with user. So that's really interesting. Let's go in here. Okay, so I've dumped in a couple of images to show that the profile's not been populated with uh, Apple sign in and I'm showing him the um, errors that I'm getting in the console as well. Console? I'm gonna grab that Superbase service update. I'm just gonna dump it in here. Doesn't like that, does it? So see how it's done, it's done three files. That's my fault, I was speaking to it, I gave it too many things. So I'm gonna, you know what I mean, it's hard, it's hard. So I'm gonna say line 67 on the super base service. 
Yeah, so it is referencing set off, but you haven't got that in there. So you're in our service. There's probably a much quicker, tried and tested, everyone knows you're doing it wrong, Mason, login thing for this, but I don't care. Right, so now what should happen is I should create the lock-in. I need to fix that. Let's create a lock-in. It's dinner. We're all having dinner together. It's only 30 minutes though, we're eating quick. Look, if you don't stay locked in, you gotta do the dishes. That code's right, that's right, that's right. The participants, yeah, I wonder how they, if that's, okay. The participants, this is wrong, this is wrong. Let's start locking. This should go to its own fucking page. <laughs> All right. You're doing too much. You're doing too much. This, this is where vibe coding starts because you, you can just get lost in it, you know, you get lost. It's not, is it flow state? It's a very weird flow state if it is. It's really hard to keep focus. It's not focused. I need to be more on its case. I need to be more, you need to focus, mate. Look at this. The issue has been fixed. Shut up, mate. You don't know it has. You don't know. You, you, this is the exact output you gave me before that. The issue has been fixed. Shut up. I'm in the lobby. This participant list is shit, but I'm in the lock-in lobby. I'm ready. We're all joining in the lobby. We're all getting into the lock-in. Everyone's going, oh, I'm not going to get DQ'd. I'm going to get DQ'd. Who's going to get DQ'd? Right, nice big screen that shouldn't have that lock-in. Boom. <laughs> that time. Right now, the aim of the game is you, just, you let it sleep, you can do what it wants, but you cannot leave this lock in. If you leave the lock in, like if you close that off and go to Instagram or Gmail or whatever you do now, you are DQ'd like Emma is there. All right, so that's my flow. That's the, that's the vibe flow that I'm working with at the moment. It works. Okay, I mean, there's loads. Oh no, like it's got me where I needed to go, right? It's done the screens. There's just some cleanup to do. Obviously for the app itself, for this app to work, there's a load of work that needs doing, but that is my flow. I work with Claude. I use the repo mix output inside uh, Claude. <laughs> um, and then just got a lot of copy and pasting and moving things around. And then that lets me use the work within Xcode. I mean, tell me what you think. That does this work? Where are the improvements? Could I just go to Cursor? Could I just, you know what? I need to try it, don't I? I need to get a Cursor sub, get 3.7 3 running on Cursor and just try it in there and then just running the builds in Xcode. But this is working so far. Okay, cool. Let's go, baby. Let's go.